Hey, it's Robbie Merrill, bass player, Godsmack. Um, today's lesson is, I'm going to tell you a little story. We, um, in 04, we were playing with Metallica. And during our off dates, we were doing um, an acoustic set. Um, basically, all Godsmack stuff, sitting in a smaller room, playing acoustically. So we went over. I remember flying, actually, I flew in to Denver, where I'm filming this right now. I flew in here. Um, we were practicing at the Fillmore. So we got all done. I'm all doing my thing. And then after we're breaking down, Sully goes, hey, why don't you do a solo? And I'm like, I haven't soloed since 10 years, you know? It's probably even longer than that. So he got my, my juices going. So that night I went home. I'm like, what am I going to do? So I just started the stumping thing. And then and then actually it started off with a little... A little um, a little harmonic piece I did and I play a country little tapping thing and I went into the Pink Panther and I did America from Jocko and then, then I stopped and then I detuned down to D and that's when Sally came out and we jammed together. Um, so I came up with this little thumping thing and um, it's on, that's what I wanted, I wanted to say. Um, we did the best of, Godsmack best of and basically in that I think it comes with a DVD of that show. Uh, we played, we filmed it in Las Vegas. So I think you can still, if you ever pick up the um, Best of Godsmack, I think it comes with it. You can look at it, or you can probably get it on YouTube. And then basically, he, we had to cut out all the all the uh, Jocko stuff and all that stuff because of publishing. And so it was just, you'll see, just this thing I'm going to do. It's a little bit different, but here here it is. It's a um, little thumping piece. And then I'll try to teach you it. Try to find my groove. That's a, a thumping piece that I came up with, um, and basically on a tape, I'd start off teasing the crowd. I'd, I'd just be doing this. I'd do my Robbie Merrill Godsmack thing, and I'd go over to that side, and then then me and Sully would come in and start jamming all that stuff. Um, fun piece, something I developed on the fly. Um, like I say, on my other lessons, you learn the tapping thing. This here is, is a lot of, I think it's a triplet thing with, with a little groove um, with the open D note. And then what I would do is add different notes, a um, little different groove. And I would go to a different groove. And this groove here, I'm trying to do. Um, I did this because I wanted to to learn to again. Everything I try to do is more for practice. But then I want to learn how to skip notes, skip on the string. So it's a little triplet feel. So I'm going to try to play it slow. Um, so again, the beginning is this slow. That's the main groove. And then 
I just add a groove to it. So it's, I try to do different small grooves, like in fours or whatever, and then I move on to another groove. Um, so the first groove again. Second groove. I would end on something like that and then I would change my groove um, and this groove here I showed you a second ago I'll try to do it slow it's really hard to teach because it's percussive stuff going on a lot of open stuff um, So that's the third groove. And then I, I changed another groove with the same kind of um, feel with the, with the low D. I play chords. I play, this would be a B minor, A minor, and then I play, I think, hold on. Yeah, so I play B minor to D major. A minor to a C major with the groove. So I always try to hit that the low D, the same the one in the dun. That's that. I'll hack, like hack, like I'm the best hack in the world. Um, so that groove there, and then after I was done that groove, then I'd go back to the intro and then end it. Or sometimes I, if I felt good, I'd add different notes just to screw around with it. So there's five, six grooves in there um, in a little piece that I, I put together. Uh, closed. See ya.